Traveling can be a hassle, so planning ahead is imperative to be on time. As far as planes, trains, buses, or other forms of transportation are concerned, you just have to suck it up until the journey is over. But what if you were rich and had the choice? Perhaps, let's say, you were the CEO of some company. Just think of what it would be like if you were a billionaire CEO. While these CEOs might have to deal with some CO2 emissions in their conscience, charity lectures and books may help to alleviate the problem. But before we begin, if you've not yet subscribed to our channel and if you've not rung our notification bell, make sure to do so to ensure that you don't miss a video. Number 5. Warren Buffett When he was a newspaper boy, he got around by bicycle. But when Buffett's long-term investments paid off, he earned a fortune. Having a net worth of $98 billion, Berkshire Hathaway CEO is the fifth richest person globally. In addition, Berkshire Hathaway is one of the largest conglomerates in the world and one of its subsidiaries is NetJets, the world's biggest operator of private jets. The company basically sells fractional ownership of its business jets to wealthy individuals to alleviate burdens of unnecessary expenses as with owning a personal jet while still maintaining travel efficiency. Despite his past criticism, Buffett has recently converted to private jet travel. As a sign of his seriousness, he bought a Bombardier Challenger for himself but called it the Indefensible. After some time, he realized that he needed this means of travel, so he changed the name to the Indispensable. Within its luxurious cabin, the Challenger 600 can seat up to 19 passengers. The plane's cabin measures 8.2 feet wide, 6.1 feet high, and 28.3 feet long. The aircraft also has 115 cubic feet set aside for luggage. However, I'm blown away by how quiet and vibration-free the Challenger is. For perspective, Mr. Buffett notes he only drives about 3,000 miles per year because he spends most of his time flying. However, the average elderly American male drives three times as much at over 10,000 miles per year. Therefore, it's not surprising that he drives around in a 2014 Cadillac CTS, which would cost only a few thousand dollars these days. Number 4. Mark Zuckerberg Away from the ways of the sages, we move to our youngest, most successful CEO, Mark Zuckerberg. You all know him as the founder and CEO of Facebook. In modern-day media, he's one of the most influential individuals. Time has deemed him one of the top 100 most influential people of 2019, currently worth $110 billion. If you were to judge by his t-shirt, he doesn't spend a lot. Better think again. These t-shirts are custom-made by Bruno Cuccinelli and cost $400 each. His travel style appears bland at first glance, too. Even though he has jaw-dropping receipts, Mr. Zuckerberg doesn't own a private jet like the rest of our most powerful executives. However, during the year 2020, a year when all of us were supposed to hunker down and stay home, apparently, Facebook spent around $25 million on charter services for its CEO. Volkswagen GTI and Honda Fit are just two of Zuckerberg's modest automobiles. Their combined cost is about $60,000. But of course, you haven't paid attention to me if you think that's all he owns. He also owns a $3 million Pagani Huayra worth 50 times more than his other cars combined. Number 3. Bernard Arnault In addition to holding the title of being the richest person in France and Europe, Arnault is also the wealthiest person in fashion. His two biggest wins were in 2019 and 2020 when he overtook you-know-who after he overtook him in 2018. LVMH is a worldwide conglomerate that sells luxury goods like fashion, watches, spirits, perfumes, cosmetics, and wine. Mr. Arnault is one of the four people in the world to be sent to the Billionaires Club after being worth $123 billion. That's why he splurged $54 million on a Dassault Falcon 7X business jet. This French-made aircraft has three seating zones that can accommodate as many as 19 passengers, and the cabin is 6.3 feet high. In addition to featuring three engines, it's the first private jet with fly-by-wire technology. It can travel more than 6,000 nautical miles, making it possible for Arnaud to travel from the head office of the LVMH in Paris directly to Tokyo. Also owned by Mr. Arnaud is a 333-meter yacht he calls Symphony. 
The symphony sleeps 16 people and has 36 crew members. And that's not all. It also offers a six-foot swimming pool, a jacuzzi, and a cinema. Overall, Symphony costs $150 million and is expected to run at $10 to $15 million per year. Number 2. Elon Musk He broke Jeff Bezos' world record for the wealthiest person when he beat him to the title. His net worth is $160 billion, making him the second richest person and the second richest CEO on our list today. His companies include SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, and The Boring Company. Musk is quite simply a genius and an outlandish individual. Besides naming his kid after an allegedly suggested Google password, he seems to know exactly what he's doing. Recently, the Starship project at SpaceX has led him to move to Texas from California. But of course, being the CEO of California-based companies, Musk commutes his way to the Golden State as well as other places from his private jets, the Gulfstream G550 and the Gulfstream G650ER. These business planes can carry up to 18 passengers in their cabins, but his aircrafts are configured differently to meet his comfort and taste. These include handcrafted chairs, Wi-Fi, and four different dining, working, and relaxing areas. In addition, the G550 costs around $61 million, while the G650ER costs $70 million. Still, what distinguishes these two from each other is that the Gulfstream G650ER is said to be bigger, faster, and provides a much greater range. Regarding land transportation, Elon primarily drives his most comfortable Tesla Model S, which costs up to $140,000. And whenever he's with his kids, he uses the all-wheel drive Tesla Model X worth $110,000. Number 1. Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos is the richest CEO in the world, and let's face it, you've been waiting for him. Even though Andy Jassy had succeeded him as CEO last July 2021, Bezos still has a current net worth of $181 billion. Besides founding the largest marketplace, Amazon, Getting divorced and getting back on his feet like a champ was the man's greatest triumph, too. Whatever the case may be, Bezos flies in luxury in the Gulfstream G650ER, to be precise. Sounds familiar? As mentioned earlier, Tesla CEO Elon Musk owns a similar aircraft. However, Jeff Bezos has two G650ER business jets that cost about $150 million. It has the longest range and fastest speed. Also noteworthy is the fact that this large business jet earned numerous aviation awards, including the prestigious Collier Trophy for what is considered a stronger aircraft. There's absolutely no doubt that the Gulfstream G650 is favored by billionaires. Now back to business. Every time Jeff Bezos descends to Earth to interact with humankind, you may typically see him driving some of his rare fleet set of cars. His garage includes his Ferraris, the Pininfarina Sergio, one of six Ferrari Pininfarina Sergios ever built, just so you know, Mansory Bugatti Veyron, the Lebanese limited edition sports car like W Motors Lycan Hypersport, Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita with a diamond weave carbon fiber finish, and of course, the majestic Lamborghini Veneno. This and all of his automobiles cost a total of $20 million. They're all fast and most of them are rare. So there you have it, the traveling style of the wealthiest CEOs in the world. What luxury travel do you want to dream about? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and, well, yeah, looking forward to more similar videos, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. That's it for now. See ya!